Hi there, welcome to C Programming Tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to input a value of a variable. Uh, this is kind of continuation in the sense that, you know, uh, uh, from the previous lecture, in the sense that um, uh, pre in previous lectures, we basically learned how to output the variables, but, you know, just outputting doesn't work. You have to basically, you know, how you ha we have to be have uh, we have to have a way, a way of entering the information, you know, inputting the information, for getting the values of the variables from the user instead of, you know, hard coding them, you know, instead of specifying them in the um, in the program itself. And that's what we are going to learn in this uh, tutorial: how to input the values in C. Again, uh, you can see the you can see uh, the link of all uh, of the playlist which contains all the tutorials in this series of C programming language. Um, uh, I would highly recommend that you watch all of them. So let's get started. Uh, this is this is the program that we wrote before. Um, and yes, before we start, uh, I I haven't mentioned this. Um, as you can see here, these lines here. They start with backslash. They start with slash slash. This basically tells the compiler to ignore the lines. That's all it does. So, so if I if I don't put slash slash, that's going to be a syntax error. There is it's not allowed. You have to follow a certain format. You cannot have anything written outside these braces. So everything that we are going to be writing is here in in these lines here. Later on, we will understand what all these rest of the lines mean. But you know, as I said in the in the very first lecture, that this is how this is what uh, everything basically whatever we are going to write for now is going to be in between these lines. So anything outside the line is not going to be the compiler is not going to like it. If I try to compile it like 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 this, if I I have the program output still running, if I try to compile it it's going to give an error here this is an error message and the reason it's giving the error is basically it's not liking that line outside this thing so what we have to do we have to tell the compiler to ignore these lines so that's why we have all these format specifiers and this information written here and they start with slash slash these the side effect of this is that if I want to write something for me you know if I want to explain the code you know if I want to say okay let's print the information let's print the information I cannot write it just in that thing in the middle of uh, of the program because the compiler is not going to like it it's uh, it's it's an error it's a syntax error it's n it's not going to understand there is certain format that we have to follow so in order to still write it there I have to do is to tell the compiler please ignore this line so so this is basically this this is the way of writing comments in the program and it's a very good idea to write comments because uh, complex programs can be hard to read i mean this is a very simple program so it's not a pro not a problem complex pro programs can can be hard to understand uh, anyway so let's get started um let's see let's let's get back to the same uh, program i'll just a little bit i'll simplify it and let's see so this program right here what we were doing is that we declared a variable x then we declared a variable y then we declared a variable z and then we said x is equal to 4 y is equal to 3 that gives the value of x to be 4 and then value of y to be 3 and then we said z equal to x plus y which basically gets the value of 7 which is the sum of 4 and 3 Whew. now and then we said that okay print this information sum of percent d which is basically the value of the first variable x which is 4 sum of 4 and 3 that's what it's going to say 4 and 3 is 7 okay now what if we want this value of x and y to be actually entered by the user so what do we do here we basically say scan f percent d quotes comma m percent x so just like printf was the function to basically output something, scanf is the function to input something. And what to input? You have to specify using the format specifiers, just like we did for the uh, output. You, all you have to do in scanf, what you will have to do is to basically specify a format specifier. You cannot write the sum of or enter the value of or something like that. You cannot do that. 
So just specify the format specifiers and specify the one that you want to input for. So if you want to input a number integer, you, you, you specify percent %d because percent %d is the format specifier for the integer. And then you have this m percent %x. So see, notice how when you are outputting, you just write the name of the variable. When you are inputting, you remember for now, just remember this, that you have to write the m percent. And what it does is basically tells, gives the address of the variable x the place in the memory where x resides so that the computer can basically take the value of x and put it into the into that location so we are going to say take this statement out because now we are saying that let's that we are going to be entering this value ourselves we do the same thing with with the for the value of y okay and then we print the the sum of these two so what this is going to do is just is going to basically as let the user enter the value of x and the value of y and then here we will be basically printing the sum of these two so this is more generic in the sense that you know you could enter the user could enter any numbers and we will display the sum of those two numbers so let's let's try try it out so we compile and we run it so there is nothing on the screen. Why? Because computer comes to the screen here. You know, the control comes to the screen here, and then it basically stops. It says that okay, in input the value of x. So let's input the value of x as two. And then here it is expecting the value of y, which is three. And now when I will pr press enter, it basically prints the value of prints the sum of x and y it is supposed to like but look look at this what it's doing it's basically saying the sum of 2 and 3 is 36 sum of 2 and 3 is not 36 right so we go back there is something wrong in the program okay what's wrong look at this i accidentally deleted oh here it is we are adding them first then entering the values this is not right this is wrong right we need over here the values of x and y are not even set so we will basically take it here out and put it here why we have to get the value of x first so that the value of x is determined and then the value of y first from uh, next from the user so that the value of y is determined and then the, we compute the value of z by adding these two numbers and then we print this out so okay so we did the debugging this is called debugging there was a program you ran it it did not run the way you wanted it to run you went back to the program you looked where the things are wrong and you figured it out and then you 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 fixed it this is called debugging it's a very important thing i mean this is a very simple program With complex programs debugging can be really really pain painful anyway so let's uh, let's start let's see uh We'll run this program again. We compile it and we run it again. And here it's expecting to the value of x, we enter 2, the value of y, we enter 3. And look at this the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Beautiful. Okay. Now, see how, how stupid it looked to basically just stop there and wait for the user to enter something we are going to change that so we are going to display a message before uh, before inputting the value and here it goes look at this it's asking